Hello everyone, um, I noticed that there are a lot of calls and inquiries about a Canadian or permanent resident people here inside Canada having an affair or a girlfriend back in the Philippines. The question, it is always the common question is that can I bring my girlfriend inside Canada as my fiance? The problem po is that karamihan po sa mga naging girlfriend nila sa Pilipinas, they are married. Okay? Now if I will ask the foreign um the the foreign national kung may kung nakaseparate na sila or may annulment, still married. Hindi po ganun. In terms of the Canadian and permanent resident people here inside Canada, they can never never sponsor these people under their family class either common law or spousal kasi nga married pa yung asawa nila sa Pilipinas. In the Philippines, there is no divorce yet. So ngayon, the only option, okay, I repeat, the only option for those girlfriend is to bring them here as a tourist visa, which is, that's the only option. Kasi pag inas ko naman yung lalaki dito, usually ang sagot is, hindi ako pwedeng umuwi sa Pilipinas because I have a life here inside Canada, which is normal, at hindi rin nila pwedeng i-give up yung buhay nila dito sa Canada and go to the Philippines. And the last worst situation at scenario po is, yung lalaki dito sa Canada, your yung PR the PR uh, holder or the citizen the Canadian citizen is also married can you imagine everyone Filipino person woman usually in the Philippines is married at the same time in Canada the person who's trying to bring that person in Canada is married as well I created this blog because I want to clarify to everyone not because you got a permanent resident or Canadian citizen inside Canada you could be able to use that so that you could you can come here in Canada under that spousal sponsorship hindi po ganun kadali there's always that common law partnership but the problem is that you have to prove and you don't have the proof that you were cohabited with this 12 months 12 months without interruption when you enter into a relationship and you want to use that relationship to come inside Canada, please don't if you are married on both sides. Make sure the only option is to come as a tourist visa holder but not use that person or your boyfriend or your 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 um your Canadian boyfriend or permanent resident boyfriend. I am unfortunately I want to say this to you once and for all if you are married in the Philippines and you are married inside Canada no matter you who you are you are Canadian or you're permanent resident I'm so sorry I don't want to actually um, involve myself into this kind of process it's I want to get involved because I don't want na mag suffer po yung family nung babae sa Pilipinas and also the family nung tao dito sa Canada I actually have process few but during the process and signing, hindi ko alam na mayroon silang asawa, mayroon silang asawa sa Canada, mayroong asawa sa Pilipinas. And then if I ask, are they divorced? No. Are they annulled? No. So what is that? I'm Filipino. And I'm very conservative in terms of family. So if you, one of you, are doing all these things, please don't ask me questions anymore to help your spouse or your friends or your girlfriend back in the Philippines if they're married. I don't want to involve in those situations because I don't agree with people who have who has an affair with each other while they're married so I'm so sorry everyone again at the end of the day please share this information maybe if somebody asks me again I will copy and paste this um, uh, link so that they understand that me as an immigration consultant I don't condone and I don't cooperate in processing paperwork or immigration to reunite someone who's married back in the Philippines and also who's married here inside Canada. No, I don't. Again, please, magsasayang lang kayo ng oras in calling me and texting me because um, you want me to help you bringing your girlfriend in the Philippines and then um, hindi pala. Yun pala is you're having an affair with each other and I don't really agree with that. Um, again, um, that's my own conviction and i don't want to deal with those people who are doing this again at the end of the day um i don't want to destroy other people and i don't want to be involved in that situation